Zhuge Liang has predicted the wind would turn, and it has. The perfect time to strike is now. We must not waste this chance. The ships approaching Cao Cao's navy are not surrendering as he thought. Although he sees that, he cannot stop the events in motion now. When the fire ships collide, we will begin our attack in the ensuing chaos. Cao Cao must be stopped here, or his campaign of conquest will consume all of China. For the people now, we will stop him. Zhou Yu will land his forces on the beach and attack Cao Cao's camp directly, whilst my brothers and I will charge in on the flank. The villain Cao Cao already flees down Hurong Road. Yet the foolish trio Li Ba, Zhu Huang, and Zhang Liao cover his retreat. Liu Bei's forces counter the left flank. The infamous Jade Dragon Cavalry, as fearsome as their namesake, accompanied by heavy spear guard and repeating crossbows, stand ready to extinguish the threat. Liu Bei endeavours to spread Cao Cao's front line, isolating the weakest links to create gaps for his Jade Dragons to flank and provide support for Sun Chen, who covers the centre. Sun Chen's mercenaries pile the pressure onto Zhu Huang and his militia. The Jade Dragon Cavalry forced the mercenaries over the tipping point, overloading the centre. Liu Bei looks to finish off the flank, preventing him pursuing Cao Cao by duelling with Li Ba, whilst his forces remain firm against the volleys of flaming arrows and steadfast cavalry. Cao Cao's forces hold a formidable defensive choke point. Towers and walls narrow Sun Chen's forces into choke points. Even his most elite warriors struggle to find a way to punch through. Zhao Yu's pearl dragons spar with Zhang Liao and his fire arrows illuminate the night sky and cascade against the walls. This was just a little taster of what the Battle of Redcliffe has to offer, but you can fight this battle for yourself. Just go into the historical battle screen within the main menu and see if you can defeat Cao Cao's forces.